Hi, welcome to Arrow Minute. My name is Nathan Esau and I'm a first officer on the Twin Otter here at Northright. Today we're going to be talking about the variety of landing gear on the Twin Otter, which make it the most versatile aircraft in our fleet and the perfect aircraft for the North. In broad terms, landing gear is exactly what it sounds like. It's meant for safely taking off and landing. All planes have it, all planes use it, but not all have the variety that the Twin Otter does. The standard configuration for the Twin Otter is to be on wheels, but it doesn't just stop at that. They're categorized by flotation. Standard are the smallest and Tundra are the biggest. The bigger the tire, the better it's able to deal with loose terrain. Floats are the second most common type of landing gear. They open up a whole new set of possibilities as you're able to go into the mountains and land at lakes, rivers, and any type of body of water that's deep enough and long enough for taking off and landing. Floats are a lot larger than wheels, so they create a lot more drag on the aircraft. This means that the plane flies slower as well as burns more fuel. Floats are broken up into multiple different compartments. These compartments mean that if you get one leak, it doesn't fill the entire float and you're able to continue flying. Before every flight, we check each of these compartments to make sure that there's no excess water that will add weight to our plane. Lastly, a big difference between wheels and floats is there's no nose gear. This means that for steering and braking, we have to use the differential control with our engines. Skis are used for flights into remote locations, the same locations that we would fly on floats, but instead of landing on the water, we're landing on snow. When landing on skis, we'll do a low pass of the area that we intend to land on. This is to make sure that there's no hazards like caribou running around or water or things of that sort, so that we can make a safe and comfortable touchdown. Skis are similar to wheels in the fact that we still have our nose gear for steering capability, but they're also similar like floats in the fact that we don't have conventional braking and are required to use the engines to slow down. Each of the landing gear configurations that we've just spoken about mean that we're able to fly through almost every season, bringing people and supplies into some of the most remote locations in the world. This is what's made the Twin Otter one of the most popular aircraft in the North for the last 60 years. I'm just about to go start prepping the plane to go flying. Thanks for flying with us today and we'll see you next time.